So here's another example of swing method factoring. Um, before we start this problem, honestly, you know, doing guess and check or brute force might be easier in this problem. Remember, those are usually easier if any of your first or your last terms are prime. Okay. Now, since 2x squared is prime, the only options for first terms are going to be 2x and x. Okay. And 14, then you could, you know, kind of try different factors of 14 and see which one works. But since this is a swing method video, I'll show it using swing method. Okay. So remember, first swing method is you're going to swing the A value, the leading coefficient, out from the front, and you're going to swing it to the back. Okay. And when you swing it, you're going to multiply. So we're going to change it from 2x squared to just 1x squared, minus 3x, and so nothing changes except for that last term. It becomes 2 times negative 14, which is negative 28. So this problem goes from having a co leading coefficient of 2 to having a leading coefficient of 1. And whenever you have a leading coefficient of 1, it becomes a lot easier. You can use the product sum. So we need two numbers that are going to multiply to negative 28, product of negative 28, and a sum of negative 3. Okay. Well, the only way you can multiply to a negative and add to a negative is if the bigger factor is negative. So the factors of 28, negative 28, are going to be 1 and negative 28, 2 and negative 14, and 4 and negative 7. Okay. All right, so our winner, we got to see which one adds up to negative 3. This does not. 2 and negative 14 does not. And 4 plus negative 7 is negative 3. So those are going to be our two. All right, so we're going to write it as two binomial factors, x minus 7, or about 4 first, x plus 4, and x minus 7. Okay. Now again, that factors this x squared minus 3x minus 28, but that wasn't the problem we were given. So since the first thing we did was move the 2 to the back, we multiplied by 2 in the first step, so now we're going to have to divide by 2. You're dividing each of the factor pairs by 2. Okay. Now we simplify. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so that's x plus 2. And x minus 7 doesn't simplify. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take that value behind, that, the value that doesn't simplify, and you're going to swing it to the front. Because okay. remember, once you swing forward, you have to swing back. And that is your answer. Okay. So again, if it simplifies completely, 4 over 2 is 2, or 2 over 1. There's nothing to swing back because there's no denominator. So it's just x plus 2. And the other side, it didn't simplify, so we can just go ahead and swing it to the front right away. And you get 2x minus 7. Okay. So that's another example of swing method. Remember, swing forward, factor, simplify, swing back. 